The Chinese reopening has been one of the key themes uh, for investors to be more bullish about the global economy and more uh, optimistic about growth prospects globally. However, there is something interesting because the reopening is not showing either in freight costs, which have declined to levels not seen in five years, to the lowest level in five years, and it's not showing either in commodity prices. It is certainly not showing in energy commodities, but it's also not proving to be relevant enough in the price of uh, industrial commodities. There was a small recovery in those uh, prices, and then they declined afterwards at the beginning of the year. This shows a number of things. The reopening, obviously, is a reality. But the monetary phenomenon in prices is more important. What this means is that rate hikes and contraction of money supply in developed economies is playing a larger part and, a bi and has a bigger impact on commodity and freight costs than the reopening of China and the increase in money supply in China itself. That is something that is also evident in industrial production and in the manufacturing sector. The global manufacturing sector, most of developed economies remain in contraction in the manufacturing sector. Therefore, the, uh, the tension between monetary aspects of prices in commodities and in freights and the reality of the uh, global supply and demand are things that collide. And we have discussed this a, new, a number of times. The fundamentals in the commodity market in terms of five-year average inventories, in terms of supply and demand in most commodities, very strong. However, the monetary aspect is playing a much bigger role right now. Rate hikes are certainly having a larger impact on commodities and on freight charges than the improvement of global demand coming from the Chinese reopening. Something to look at very carefully because uh, when we think about inflation, let's remember it's always a monetary phenomenon.